Hello Cancer, this is Renee and welcome back. Cancer, we're going to take a look at your reading. We're going to do you versus them. Well, I'm going to have your cards on this side and your person's cards on this side. Um, be aware that the energies can be flipped. So if this feels like your side and this feels like this could be them, then take it how it resonates. Okay, so Cancer, if this reading resonates, like and subscribe. And if it doesn't, feel free to take a look at your other placements. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have for Cancer. Messages for Cancer. We're going to get your energy first. Okay, we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay. And we also have for them separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay, so you may have had some separation from this person, Cancer. So I'm going to use, for you, I'm going to use the, the Spellcasters Tarot. And for them, I'm going to use the Modern Look Tarot. Okay, so let's take a look. At your energy. Spirit, give me a message. How does Cancer feel about this person that they're thinking about? How does Cancer feel about this person? Give me a message. How does Cancer feel about this person? Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles. You're kind of at a standstill when it comes to this person. You're not quite sure how you're feeling or where you're going. You just kind of feel a little bit stuck, right? Um, you're probably deep in your thoughts about this person, but you're not quite sure where the situation is going, okay? Like I said, it feels like there may have been some no contact or separation with this person. So let's take a look. What are Cancer's intentions towards this person? What is Cancer's intentions towards this person, please? The Empress. You're ready to... Yeah, you find this person very attractive, very go-getting. You want to just reach out and grab this person, right? Um, but I feel like... Yeah, I feel like there. I, you should really kind of take a step back and take it slow, though, Cancer, okay? Um, but I feel like you're very attracted to this person. There's definitely a fire, a chemistry, you know, some kind of magnetic pull between you and this person, okay? What are... Where's this connection going? Where is this connection going with Cancer and their person? Where is this connection going? The moon. It's unresolved. There's some questions that need to be answered first. Yeah, there, there's a big question mark here. You know, I feel like there may be some secrets. There may be things that are left unsaid. Um, like I said, if you haven't had any contact with this person, I feel like, you know, there's, it, it's, it's left undone. You know, it's not finished. There's something that's unresolved. We do have the lovers on the bottom, Cancer. So I feel like there's a lot of care here. But I feel like you're kind of hesitant to work on it. You're hesitant to put any more energy into the situation because you're so deep in your thought about it. Um, there may have been lies, there may have been some kind of deception um, that this person did. And it's left you really in doubt. It left you feeling very unappreciated, very unsatisfied with the situation. But I feel like you just want a new beginning. You want to try again and start over with this new passion. Okay, so... Let's take a look at Cancer's person. And then I'm going to go ahead and clarify. Okay. Give me a message for Cancer's person. How does this person feel about Cancer? How does this person feel about Cancer, Spirit? 
How does this person feel about cancer? Ooh. The Knight of Cups in reverse. They want to take some words back. I feel like, you know, there's something that they said to you that they want to take back. What are this person's intentions towards cancer? What are this person's intentions towards cancer? Choices. Either you or this person needs to make a very difficult choice. Right? There's something that needs to be made. And something is left undecided because someone's not able to make a choice in the situation. But there's some kind of choice that's needed to be made. And words, it seems like words want to be taken back. You know, they want to take back something that they said, cancer. Something that may have caused the separation. Okay, where is this connection going, spirit? Tell me about this connection. Where is this connection going? The Ten of Cups. Well, that's a good sign. It means that, you know, there is a decision that needs to be made. This person does want to reconcile. They do want to have some kind of connection with you. So there may have been some kind of misunderstanding. There may have been some kind of fight or arguing. But I feel like there's something that this person wants to take back. They want to take back their words or their actions, right? They feel like there's a difficult choice that, that's needed to be made before you can even proceed forward. And with you, Cancer, you have the moon here. So I feel like there's a lot of fire between you and this person. But I feel like there's a lot of things left unsaid or something is unresolved. There's a lot of mystery and a lot of distraction. Distraction is what I'm getting. Okay, so um, see we have the four of pentacles on the bottom. So I definitely feel like this person is weighing, they're weighing their value for the situation. They feel like it could go long term or that it's worth investing more time into. But I feel like right now... They're not even able to focus on themselves, let alone making a decision. Um, because I feel like they're in deep doubt right now. There's something that they're soul searching about, right? And they may be healing at the moment as well. Yeah, they're healing at the moment. So whatever they're healing from, hmm, I feel like it has something to do with the separation or no contact. Give me a message for Cancer. Give me an outcome. Tell me more about this moon. Tell me more about this moon energy. What is this moon? Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here for the connection? Yeah, something, something needs to be resolved. Something was said. There was a misunderstanding. And now... You know, things are left unsaid, things are left undone, and now you just want to work the situation out. You want it to balance. But cancer, it's going to take time. It's going to, it's going to take a little bit of patience because I feel like there is a possibility for a new beginning in this situation, but it's going to take time and patience, okay? Yeah, look at this. We have the Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. So this is a this is a new beginning that's long term and lasting, um, but it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of patience, a lot of healing. Okay, because this King of Cups energy, they're in their feelings. You know, they they don't feel supported, they don't feel appreciated. Um, this could be your energy or theirs, Cancer. Um, but I feel like yeah, there's definitely things that were kind of uh so, something kind of was very bitter something 
kind of struck them to the bone, you know? And I feel like, yet yeah, now nothing can change. It's not changing. It's not moving. All of these cards are upside down, except for this King of Wands energy. So I feel like there's still attraction there. But there's something left unsaid. There, there were words exchanged that may be a little hard to take at the moment. Right? Tell me more about this Knight of Cups for Cancer's person. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Why does cancer person want to take their words back they don't want to apologize tell me why cancer's person wants to take their words back the high priestess you already know what this is you already know what this is but i feel like something was revealed to this person Something that they found out, something that they were unaware of. Um, hmm. The death card in reverse. They really don't want this to end. They really don't want this to change. Um, but there's something that was said. There's something that they can't take back that they wish that they could. But now they're just in this stuck energy, like, you know, they're, and they may be going into hermit mode here because I feel like this person is healing. Yeah, they're definitely stuck. They can't move. It's unresolved for them as well, you know, and they really, yeah, they feel very unfulfilled. They're deep in, deep in their thoughts. They're thinking about you, Cancer. They're thinking about you very strongly. See, I'm going to take one more deck because I want to know more about this. Give me an outcome for Cancer and this person. Give me an outcome, please. Give me an outcome for Cancer and this person. The sun, the sun in reverse. Well, the sun is a good card, even if it is in reverse. But I feel like with it coming out in reverse, it's going to take time. It's, yeah, there may be family. This may be someone that you have children with. You may share family with this person. Um, you may have been married to this person. But I feel like, you know, it's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. Yeah. Exactly. The four of pentacles, you know, they really want to work on the situation. They want it to work out. The two of pentacles in reverse, they don't know where to start. And the five of pentacles, they definitely feel like they're left out in the cold, like they're being very unappreciated, unwanted, uncared for. You know, they feel like you're leaving them behind, like you're moving forward and you're leaving them behind. Right? They're not able to focus. They're not able to make some important decision. All they're able to think about is what's not being changed. And these words that they just can't take back now that they've been said. Right? So there's a lot of stuck energy here. But they really want to move forward and let this go. They really want to feel happy with you again. But and I don't see... We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. They're very sad. They're, they feel like they're not going to be happy. Very stuck. There's a lot of things unresolved for them. Okay. Uh, give me a message. I'm just going to look at their conversation because I already know. You know what you want to say, right? So I'm just going to look at their conversation. So what does Cancer's person have to say to Cancer? What messages do we have for Cancer? What was left unsaid? What was left unsaid for Cancer? I look for you everywhere. They're really thinking about you. 
Okay, they're really thinking about you, Cancer. I think they really feel like they messed up. I bear myself in my work to forget about you. Yeah, we both know I'm not the one for you. They feel like they really messed up. Like you are never going to turn back to them again. They feel very distraught, Cancer. They feel like you're leaving them behind. Like they just can't find their happiness. The timing wasn't right for us. And I want to be more than friends. So you may have put this person in the friend zone. And now they're like, I don't like it here. I want... I want what we have back again. We will be together again, you know. And I feel like that's what they're hoping for. That's what they're wishing for. They're wishing that you and this person were back together again. You know, um, whatever was said that they can't take back, I feel like they're really regretting ever saying something, you know. Um... They wish that they could take it back. Because now, now, Cancer, they're missing you like crazy. After this separation or no contact, they're like, what the hell did I do? I just messed this all up, right? And so I think that they're trying to kind of bury themselves and staying busy so that they can kind of keep occupied. Okay, but I, I feel like this person kind of knows that they crossed the line with you. That, you know, it may not ever be the same again. I feel like that's the reason why this person is in such deep pain. Okay, let's get some messages for a cancer's person. Time to start something new. I think about you even though we're apart. You're being called to have faith in your situation. I'm sorry I have issues from a past relationship. And we have it's time to play more and laugh more. Okay, so I feel like Spirit is letting you know that it's time to focus on you, Cancer. It's time for you just to live your life. You know, it may be time for you to start something new. This person is going to think about you, whether you're together or separated, because they have such deep feelings for you. But, of course, Cancer, this is your decision. But I feel like there that you both may be going through some transformation and changes. You know, um, I feel like there's a lot going on. But you do need to listen to your inner voice. Okay, listen to your intuition because I feel like that's going to tell you a lot. Let down your walls and be open to new opportunities. That's what you need to do, Cancer. Rather, it is opening yourself up to accept this person's apology or opening yourself up to a new beginning because you do have new beginnings here as well. Okay, um... Definitely. It's time to make the effort to do what you feel is right for you, Cancer. Okay? Let's get a timeline. Let's get a timeline for Cancer and their person. Timeline for Cancer and their person, please. What messages do we have for Cancer and their person? By the next season. Okay, so summer is just right around the corner. Summer is in June. Um, June, July. Yeah. So, by the next season. So, that that's like a month, month and a half. So, yeah. So, I mean, give this some time, Cancer. Give this some time and see where it goes. See how you're feeling about the situation. See how they're feeling about the situation. Um, but I do feel like there is no contact at the moment. And maybe that's for the best because it's, that gives you time to go through what changes that you're going through. And it gives them time to heal and go through what changes that they're going through. 
So let's go ahead and get an angel number for Cancer. Let's get an angel number for Cancer, please. Okay, 1313, Clarity. As the storm passes, the clarity is felt faster than lightning is seen against a dark sky. The divine is reminding you that clarity is readily available. All you have to do is ask. You have weathered the storm and now the sky is clearing. Okay, your confirmation Loving energy surrounds me and I trust that the clarity I feel is the answer I need. Okay, so this is your message, Cancer. This is what I have for you. So if this message resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, feel free to take a look at your placements or your person's placements if you know them. And uh, you'll have other messages there. Okay. And many blessings to you, Cancer. I hope this reading helps. Many blessings, love, and light.